What's up guys, we're back with an epic video. Today we're gonna be opening this blister case. It's very large, so it's gonna be difficult for you guys to see it, but it's a large blister case. It contains the Lost Millennium blister packs, and yeah, there are they are like Italian or something, but what makes me excited about that is in North America, they had the hobby retail split, so with blister packs in North America, you could not pull the ultimate ancient gear golem and stuff like that. I don't think they did that for like Italian, European, and all that stuff. So I'm thinking we might have a chance to actually pull some crazy cards. So that's what makes me really excited about this. But before we open this blister case, the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from this, I believe Italian, I'm not totally sure, blister case of the Lost Millennium. All right, guys, let's get into this thing. Let's slice it open. I believe there should be 20 blisters in here. I'm not totally sure. I've never opened a blister case like this old. Yeah, 20 count. It says it down there. And uh, yeah, we said that. The Catuedo. Catuedo. <laughs> That's probably not how you say that, but I think that means 20. <laughs> Because it says 20 right next to it. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, you guys. It's going to be tough to see, but maybe you guys can see it in this cam. Check that out. Inside we have... Oh. All right. This tends to happen with older blisters, so that's okay because we're opening it up. But uh, here's the pack. Oh, Millennio Perdido. All right. Let's see uh, how many of these fell out. So here's one that has not fallen out yet. The glue just kind of falls off because they're so old. Uh, that's what you got to worry about. If you're collecting blisters, uh, take that in, into consideration. See, like, look what look what's happened. This one's fallen off. And this was sealed. You guys saw it was sealed. So that's just how it works. We've got another pack. We've got a couple. Here's another one that fell off. Here's one that has not fallen off. So the good thing about this, it makes it nice and easy for us to open these. I'm going to get all these out and I'll cut back. Yeah, look how easy it is to open these guys. Like, whoop. That's it. Okay, guys, we're back with 20 opened blisters. So as you guys saw, the blisters just fell open. So if you are ever buying a blister case or a blister, just keep that in mind. And that that is pretty likely to happen at some point. The glue's just going to fall off. So it is a little bit of a dangerous thing to collect because you can totally lose a ton of your value. Like if it just opens up and you just have a pack, the pack value is a lot lower than the blister value. So just keep that in mind. Let's get into this opening of, I believe, Italian. Or is it Portuguese? Maybe it, no, it's Portuguese. Okay. Portuguese, the Lost Millennium. Can we pull something epic? Whoop, wait, there should be a P on it. Yeah, okay, it's Portuguese. Is there even Italian? I don't even know. Clément, Heroi de Elemento. Laboratorio de Conversio. Gon, Converseo. Sparkman. Picaru. And Rendeco Real. I don't know what that card is. There's the Battery Man AA. Um, because it's also blisters, I really have no idea what sort of ratios we're going to see. Also, I want to mention, guys, we will be doing a live stream tomorrow, opening the newest set, a case of it. It's going to be pretty fun. So make sure you guys come out, hang out for that. It's going to be pretty fun. And let's continue this Lost Millennium. Can we pull an Ultimate Rare Ancient Year Golem? Ultimate Rare, you know, Flame Wingman. We had good luck with that in the first edition booster box. Check that out. That was awesome. Avian. The Roca. Another one. What? The same, and then the Battery Man AA, that's like the exact same pack. And the Mist Polymerization. Let's see if I can even remember some of these cards. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get, guys. Here we go. Des Wombato. Ritual Final. Burst into Tricks. Segunda. And Escudo Medio Gardena. Golem and Guardio. All right, next pack. Can we pull the Ancient Gear Golem? Let's do this. Come on, guys. Or, sp or the uh, Thunder Giant would be cool, too. Deswombato. Clayman. Laboratory. Ooh, Reshef. Osir Das Trevas. Ultra rare. Reshef, the Dark Being in Portuguese. Check that out. That is super cool. Man, that looks good. Got that old school UDE printing. Gotta love it. Very nice. All right, our first foil is an ultra rare Reshef. And we pulled that in ultimate rare in the uh, hobby box. So that was pretty cool. Have that one in my binder. We got the Spark Man. The Batteries. <laughs> Bombardment de Roca. The Moe. Oh, this guy. 
All right, Battery Man AA and Golem. So far, we've hit one foil. I, I don't really know what to expect out of these. You can, I think it's just completely random. You can pull great, you can pull awful. It's only 20 packs, so it's not too much. We've got the Avian, Batterius. These feel like very flimsy for some reason, these cards. First in tricks. Ooh, Element, not, not Elemental Hero, Elemental Mistress Story Auto. I think when I pulled this in Ultimate Rare, I called it Elemental Hero, I remember that. I also remember that I uploaded the non-edited file for that video, and it was up for like an, an hour or something, or 30 minutes, and a lot of you guys saw it and were like, dude, what is going on? And I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hida, Deswambato, Ritual Final, Oha, Grave Oha. So far, one foil, guys. Not a good start. It was an ultra rare, though, which is pretty cool. Which are actually really tough to pull out of GX packs. Do they have the ratios on here? I don't think they... Oh, yeah, they do. Look at this. Ultra rare roast, 1 out of 24. A lot of people don't know that. Ultra rares are 1 out of 24. Ultimate rares are 1 out of 12. So it's actually twice as hard to get an ultra rare than it is to get an ultimate rare. Which is very odd. Very odd. <laughs> All right. Clayman. Area. Ooh, that's an ultimate rare. Escudo Medio Gardener. That's a cool one. It's like, is that Mid Shield Gardener, I believe? That's pretty cool. Very flat foil, though. It's a lot like the North American. It's not It's not like the European, even though Portugal is in European. But it, is, is this referring to Portugal, or is this referring to, um, like, Brazil and South America? That Where I think Brazil is the only place in South America that speaks Portuguese. Am I right about that? Let me know, guys. I'm usually wrong when I'm talking about languages, but I, I think that's right. All right, Desumbato, Ritual Final. Some of you guys have told me which Portuguese it is, and I can't, but this seems, is this different? I don't know. The Millennium Scorpion, because there's Wynn, the Wind Charmer. Because I've never seen Portuguese Lost Millennium, it's usually like Portuguese LOB, Portuguese MRD, stuff like that. I, the GX stuff, I don't see it in Portuguese very much. So I don't know if it's the same Portu you know, area of where they're making the cards, I don't know. Because that looked a lot more like North American print. So that makes me think, is that is it the European Portugal or not? Hita? Ooh, yeah. The spell-stopping statute. Man, the rares in this set are not very good. There we go. King of the Skull Servants. That's pretty cool. We're about halfway. So we've got an ultimate rare and an ultra rare. All right. We're just getting the big hits. We're not getting anything else. That's fine with me. I'll take ultras and ultis all day. Um, whoop, okay. That ripped really strangely. And also... I wonder if they have hobby retail in this. Does anybody know anything about Portuguese The Lost Millennium? I don't know. Oh, the Ruxin Special. We got the Avian. The Minas. And the Black Belt. Legendary Black Belt. Win. I feel like, okay, I guess we have seen some, but we haven't seen that many elemental heroes for how common they are. Or supposedly common. Hida. We've seen a lot of Hidas, a lot of the Charmers. Okay, the area, speaking of them. Doriado and Millennium Scorpion, okay. And Sorucio, Sorucio, I don't know. I can't speak Portuguese, guys. You already know this. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, though. This is, it's a little different, but it is some uh, some old stuff. It's still UDE printed cards, even though it's not in English. So it's, it's fun to open these. Sparkman, batteries, Roka. Ooh, the ultimate insect level seven. This would be a cool ultimate rare. It's not really the one you're looking for, but it is pretty cool. There we go. Ultimate insect, level seven. Very nice. Yeah, like if you got that out of a hobby box, it would suck, but it would be cool out of like something like this where it's a lot cheaper now. Like these are not nearly the price of like a hobby box. I don't even know if you can get hobby pulls out of this, which would make sense why they're not as expensive. Okay, Roka. Grave Oha. I mean, these are very hard to, like, go through. They kind of stick together. It's very weird. All right, we've got six packs left of our 20. We pulled, what, three foils. Okay, I would say we should probably pull, like, five. Just based on regular ratios, but you never know with these um, blisters. They could be completely different. Burst in tricks. Area. The Campo. And the Creo Esfinge. Esfinge. Ninja Bronco. Okay, that's not, not, I thought that was something for some reason, but it wasn't. It was just the ninja, the ninja. I'm no, just kidding, no, the Creo, not the ninja. The ninja was in there though. The Hita is in every pack. The Deswabato, Ritual Final, Mercenatrix, the 
Centering. Wow, look at that centering of the Resinitrix. Ooh, the DD Survivor. Okay, the first time I've seen him. Another King of the Skull Servants. Very nice. Four packs left. Can we get another foil, guys? Can we get another Ultimate Rare? Let's do this. Come on. Like button for luck. Here we go. Ultimate Rare. Let's give us that Ancient Gear Golem, that Thunder Giant. I would like to see Thunder Giant. That'd be cool. Avian. Bombardment. Hita in every pack. And the DD Survivor again. Okay. All right. DD Survivor is coming in all the time now. Three packs left. Here we go. Come on, guys. What is it called? El Mil Milenio Perdido. El Milenio Perdido. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, is that the first time we've seen Gift of the Martyr? He, he does in every single pack. What, what is, is this? this? Clayman. 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 And the spell stopping statute, mispolymerization. <laughs> I said Clayman. Clayman. All right, two packs left. Here we go, guys. What can we do? <sighs> Let's pull something. The batteries. Area. Burstinatrix. Minas. Oh, <laughs> another rare. Three foils so far. Okay, last pack. Come on. Believe in the heart of the cards. Bum, 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 Here we go. Ritual final. Burst in tricks. Come on, guys. Seguda. Gunda. The soldier. All right, here we go. We've got the Asa. There was no Hida in this pack. Yet, at least. Guardian something. That guy. Golem Patita, Pateta, last card. Like button for luck, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Grave Oha. Oh my goodness. All right. So not a lot of pulls in this one, but we will go over what we got. We did get one super rare, <laughs> the Insect Supremo level seven, the ultimate rare Escudo Medio Gardener, and Rechef Oserdas Trevas. All of our pulls out of one whole box. Okay, not too much in there, but that was a lot of fun to open that up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more old foreign stuff, because it is a lot cheaper, and it's kind of hard to find, actually. But if it comes up, let me know if you guys want to see more of it, and we'll do some more videos. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Do this. Okay, you. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, BOOM!